what's going on guys welcome back to the channel critical overload here so this will be the recap for the first three episodes of gen v gen v episode one starts with a flashback from eight years ago and we are introduced to a black family that is watching a train join the seven marie one of the sisters in this family rushes upstairs after her stomach begins to hurt and she heads to the restroom marie notices blood coming from down below so she's obviously started getting her period and her mother hears her freak out so she rushes upstairs and during all this chaos it's apparent her parents must have accepted an offer to have her injected with Gen V at a young age because she's revealed to be a soup. She mistakenly kills her parents and her little sister Annabeth watches in terror with her newly discovered powers. And then we jump to present day, which is taking place between season three and season four of The Boys. Marie has been accepted into Godalkin University, a school run by Vought clearly for soups and training, and Marie has no social media presence, it seems. She meets her roommate Emma, also known as Little Cricket, who has a social media follower she's a youtuber it seems they go to the campus stadium to check out golden boy aka luke uh, a highly ranked student on campus golden boy gets into a brawl that highlights his fire immunity powers later that evening marie meets jordan while trying to get registered for a class and at night witnesses another suit named sam battling security and other authorities while screaming about not going back to the woods but he's captured and taken to this facility that appears to be that exact woods facility Professor Rich tells Golden Boy News that he will be replacing Starlight in the Seven. Marie is invited to a party with Andre and Golden Boy. Emma tries to convince her to go because Marie is making excuses for why she can't. Emma helps her find an outfit and Marie meets Golden Boy, Kate, Andre, and the others outside for the evening plans. They all go hang out at Seven Towers, drinking, smoking, and discussing their desire to join the Seven. Marie seems to be living a life of lies of sorts because she says her parents are alive, but she reveals that they are dead eventually during this encounter with Golden Golden Boy. It's probably a coping thing. Golden Boy reveals his brother died as well. Marie admits that she's here to prove to her little sister Annabeth that she's not a monster. She never actually used the word monster, but it's pretty much implied. Emma begins to hook up with a supporter back at their dorm, but eventually leaves to go to the restroom where she gets naked and makes herself vomit, which makes her shrink. Marie and others are at a club where Kate uses her powers to get them in without issue. Marie is pressured into doing drugs. Emma goes back to her boy toy and is playing with his penis while being the size of an ant. Uh, which is a pretty hilarious scene and very in line with the erotic stuff this universe has. Andre uses his powers to flirt, uh, to flirt, and this goes wrong, and someone's neck ends up being punctured while he's trying to show off his powers to this girl. Marie has a moment because it reminds her of her deceased mother, but she ends up saving this woman with her bloodbending powers. Professor Rich tells Marie that incident is leading to her being expelled because it seems the others lied on her. Golden Boy wakes up in his dorm and hears a voice calling his name. It's his brother who also seems to be connected to the woods like Sam mentioned earlier. Marie breaks down in tears and uses her bloodbending powers to throw some trash cans and she tells her tells herself that she is not a monster golden boy goes to rich marie walks in on him killing rich uh and he tells her a lie so this incident can be a secret rich apparently has something to do with the woods and the disappearance of sam golden boy chases marie and and he ends up in a brawl with jordan marie runs to andre but golden boy arrives flies into the sky and blows himself up it's covered up as a drug abuse death Episode 2 picks up later that night after Golden Boy exploded with the authorities on scene. Andre, Marie, and Kate reacting to all of this. Ashley, Baird, and other Vought reps, including Dean Shetty, discuss Golden Boy's death, the cover-up, and how crucial it is that the woods doesn't get exposed. Marie is ranked in the top 10 of students at the campus for fighting Golden Boy. Andre and Marie attend a photo shoot together where we meet Mr. Anderson, Andre's dad, who was also a suit soup the shoot goes well and marie and andre walked around set afterwards discussing golden boy and his sudden death emma is in a theater class and confronts liam the boy she hooked up with and we find out he bangs everyone to cope with his small penis marie pushes or rushes to dean shetty's uh off office and then afterward jordan gets upset at marie for taking credit for the golden boy incident and she reminds them that they tried to have her expelled emma and her theater classmate are getting high in a dorm and discussing what scene to do for their theater class assignment emma decides to do a queen mave scene marie speaks with shetty and says she wants to be a hero to help people but she's hiding the part about her sister who has been adopted and she wants to earn enough money to find her shetty goes into the woods facility where lab coats are working on that same individual from episode one and she tells him to calm down he's only hurting himself 
Andre and Kate go to Golden Boy's room and of and all of his stuff has been removed. Later that night, Andre goes to the statue of his father because of something Golden Boy told him and they find a cell phone in the crotch area. The phone shows Golden Boy confessing that he found out Sam is alive and being held at a lab called The Woods and that's what we've been hearing about, of course. Andre breaks into Professor Rich's office, hacks his PC for information, and then has to hide when campus security, aka the feds, bust in on him. Marie meets Haley Miller at the studio, and Haley mentions something about Annabeth, who says she wants nothing to do with Marie, but this is all in Marie's head. She's being interviewed live on Haley Miller's show. She freezes after a question suddenly, but ends up reading the teleprompter responses word for word while Shetty watches on. Marie looks for Emma afterwards in their dorm but she's gone so she decides to text emma emma is shrinking herself and marie goes to shetty asking if she knew about her sister shetty says of course not and hugs her andre witnesses the security kills someone in the stairwell but kate saves him when they try to attack him kate passes out in his arms and then begins to spaz that's how that episode ends episode three begins at the sage grove center it's a flashback from three years ago with golden boy and kate visiting uh, Golden Boy's younger brother Sam who wishes he was regular and not the soup his parents forced him to be. Golden Boy tells him what matters is that he's his brother and that he loves him. Sam ends up punching someone in the stomach and up through their mouth and Kate puts him to sleep. Kate wakes up from her fallout inside a dorm with Andre. Andre shows her evidence of Sam being alive and says that they need to use their powers to help Sam escape. They end up hooking up and then we jump back to Marie headed to bed for the night. She hears Emma call her, but it's but it's low, so she must be in her miniature form, of course. The next day, Shetty has breakfast with Marie. We see a recap of her appearance at a presentation where Andre's dad is heckling him about how important it is for him to live up to his nepotism. Uh, Emma's mother comes to visit her. Emma admits she has suicidal thoughts and talks about her eating disorder with her mother. A flashback of Golden Boy is shown from three years ago. He's saddened over Sam's apparent suicide and Kate is comforting him. Later at a gala event, Marie and Shetty arrive together and she's still lying to people about her parents. Shetty tells her that she has a target on her back and Emma is introduced to Courtney who might be able to get Emma on reality TV, another way for her mother to exploit her eating disorder. Later in the restroom, Emma and Marie share a moment together and Emma helps Marie go to the restroom in her dress and marie apologized to emma and she immediately accepts this apology emma reconnects with courtney and her mom which ends in her telling her mom to go f herself because she's tired of the exploitation to get famous for that her mother is chasing andre chases after emma and shows her the evidence of sam being alive the two team up emma shrinks goes under a door in the secret woods lab but is caught by sam Shetty is giving a speech at the gala where she asks the crowd to acknowledge Marie as the guardian of the college. A short memorial video is played for the deceased professor and the deep makes a cameo during this. Mr. Anderson finds out Andre knows about the woods and tells him to keep his mouth shut or he'll get himself killed. Sam asks Emma to prove she's a real little person and begins asking her random questions and she obviously does not know them but there's some racial humor during this moment. Emma tells Sam that she's here to save him but sam thinks this place isn't so bad since he's tried to escape unsuccessfully in the past and it's not gone well back at the gala marie and kate vent and bond about how they accidentally killed or made their loved ones disappear sam and emma continue bonding back in the lab an alarm goes off that startles sam because it means that they know someone is here with him andre tells everyone he thinks emma is stuck in the lab with sam who is shocked and passes out when the guards come in emma jumps on the guard goes into his ear and he collapses to the ground shortly after this those are the recaps for the for the boys gen v episodes one through three let me know what you think about this down in the comment section below what did you think about the episodes if you haven't already of course make sure you subscribe turn on post notifications and the end of this video in the description i'll have links on my social media accounts i am on facebook twitter and instagram you can message me there of course let me know any movies news or reviews i may to cover in the future and with all that in mind guys i will see you in the next video